Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 inch tab. We're going to take a look at how to increase the storage space on this tab by using a USB on the go cable. Now for this tab, because it doesn't have a micro USB port, this is the USB on the go cable that you can get. As you can see, on the one side it's got a female USB 2.0 port, as you can see there. And on the other side it's got the property Samsung connector which plugs into the bottom of the, the tablet. Now this cable costs about a couple of dollars from the States uh, here in the UK, just under a couple of pounds, so not too expensive at all, and it does its job really, really well. We'll just put that down a second, we'll take the, the tablet off its dock. Now in the example, we're going to use this uh, one gigabyte USB flash drive. Now in reality, this does work with any flash drive, no matter what the size is. It also works with a portable hard drive as well. Uh, as long as the power consumption can be taken from the tab. So if you've got a self-powered portable hard drive, that will work fine, as long as all any media that you plug into the device is formatted via FAT32 file system, then it will rec recognize it. Any media that you plug into the device, whether it be this flash drive or external hard drive, must be formatted with FAT32 file system. If it's formatted with NTFS, it will not work. You can plug it in, but it just simply won't recognize it. So we'll try it out. Plug in the property connector to the tab underneath there. We'll just put that down a second to one side. Near the side you'll just plug in to the flash drive there. Now it should recognize it and bring up the file explorer as it does there. But you may be thinking, well hang on, if I'm going to be watching a bunch of films that I've got on my external storage device or watching a slideshow of photos or even streaming music, through this, it's going to be a little bit pain in the backside just holding it or leaving it down. Now, what you can do, if I just remove that, the dock that I've got includes a property connector there, but along the back, it also includes the property connector there, so you can plug it in there instead of the bottom of the device. So, all we're going to be doing essentially is plugging the USB drive into the USB on the go cable and plug the USB on the GO cable into the back of the, the USB dock as it is there. And then all we simply do, put the tab back on the, the docking station as you do, and it recognizes it and brings up the storage media as it does there. You can stream anything from uh, the flash drive pictures, movies, music for that matter, it all works fine. As you can see there, it's got the thumbnails uh, of the pictures that I've got on there already. So if I just tap into it, it'll say what application you want to launch it with. If I just launch it with a gallery, you can see it's brought up uh, one of the photos there of one of the babies. So we we'll come out of that and if we go to, say the other one, do the same thing there. Oh, that, oh there you go, just displays a picture of my son. So we'll go back, you can set up slideshows and whatnot front if you've got them organized in folders but I haven't. Same goes for the music if I have a look at one of the albums on there and play play that with so just a normal play store. I'll just turn that off. Go, 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 so one of fifty cents tracks there. So if we come out of that, that plays okay. And if you have a look at the film trailer as well, we've got Ted on here. Just turn that on. Quality is really good. You can see audio syncs in with the video with no lag at all. So it's as if it's an SD card on the internal side of the device. With the dock, the tab's just standing up in there. I think it's a really good size for what it is and for watching movies as well. I think for the money, the USB cable only a couple of bucks and a couple of pounds in the UK is really good value for money for what you get. You can plug it in with no faffing around, it just gets done as you can see and it works perfectly. 
any questions or comments that you guys have got hit them up down in the comment section down below there gives a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw if you haven't already done so hit subscribe from the button up top there it doesn't cost you anything and it's free and you can check out some of our forthcoming videos thanks for watching have a good day and we'll see you next time